Hey everybody, welcome to Kiki Loves Nigeria. Hey, it's been a long time since I made a video. I cannot believe it has been that long. It has been like months since I made a video. Like I make lives all the time, but not like a video like this. I haven't done that in months. So I'm like, hey, uh, things are winding down at work. So let me show my YouTube channel some love. So today I'm going to do a video about why I'm feeling apprehensive about going back to the Gambia. And while I'm doing that, I want y'all to talk to me. I'm going to talk to y'all about um, the stuff I'm taking. I'm going to show y'all the things I'm taking. You know what, y'all? It's this big, huge uh, <laughs> bumblebee outside of my window. And I'm just like, wow. It's huge. But anyway. So, how y'all doing tonight, this evening? I am doing just fine. As y'all can see, I got my luggage out. I got my stuff out here. My things that I'm going to pack and take with me. I got all that here. Okay, I leave soon. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Soon. But what's crazy is, normally, when I'm going to Africa, I would have my things packed by now, okay? I would have packed two, three, four times by now. By now, this late, two, three, four times by now. But as you can see, nothing. Nothing. Stuff still in the box, still in the duffel bag. Still in the other bags. Nothing. Still on the hangers. So I said to myself, I was like, okay, what's going on with you? Why are you not into this trip like you normally are? And I said to myself, you know, what I think has happened is all the research I've done on the Gambia all the things that I know about the Gambia, it has made me feel, you know, kind of apprehensive, you know, kind of stand backish, you know, like, hold up, wait a minute. You know, it's like that. And what I mean is like, since I know about all the scamming that goes on, okay, since I know about all the sex tourism that goes on, you know, all of that, since I know about how the repats, you know, just exploit each other, you know, all of that has made me feel some type of way. And I'm just going to be honest about it. It's made me feel like, is this really a place that you want to settle? Is this really a place where you want to, you know, spend the rest of your life? Because ultimately, that's what the repat journey is about. You know, finding you a home in Africa where you can go and just settle. You know, and, and the more I think about it, the more I learn about it, the more it's like, man, this is, this, this is, this is, this, this is different. This is different. That's, 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 that's all I can say is that this is different. And I'm sure what's going on here with this repack community I'm sure it's going on in other repat communities. We just don't know about it. Because, see, that's what people tend to think. They tend to think, well, you know, uh, this is only happening to me. This is only happening to us. This is only happening in the Gambia. No, it's probably happening in the repat community in Ghana. It's probably happening in the repat community in uh, Senegal. It's probably happening in the repat community in Tan Tanzania. Yeah. It's happening wherever we are because these problems are not just inherent to Gambia repats. These problems that we are encountering are inherent to all repats wherever they go because you got to remember we're talking about African Americans and African American culture. Okay? Because see, these are the issues here. We have not understood that when we go to Africa, any place in Africa, okay, 
that we are a guest there. We don't understand that concept. We think that it's ours and we're going to take it and we're going to make it to what we want it to be. And that's so far from what really happens, you know, if you want to succeed in Africa anyway. You know, if you want to succeed there, then you have to go there and you got to be humble. And you got to, you know, somehow you got to get inside of that culture. Either you're going to marry somebody from that co that community or, you know, you can live there for years. But to be honest, if you're not married to someone in that culture, you'll never truly be, they'll never truly see you as one of them. And even through marriage, they still won't see you as one of them but they'll accept you. Now, this is the type of place that we're dealing with, okay? This is the type of place that we're, and this is all over Africa, not just Gambia. This is all over Africa, okay? So these are the things that, you know, I'm thinking about. And then Gambia is so small. It's much smaller than what I'm used to. You know, it's a small, conservative community, but then it has this part of it that is, is ultra free, you know? You go to Senegambia and it's completely different. All bets off. No conservatism down there. So, you know, it's this, I guess this like double consciousness like African Americans have. I guess the Gambia has that also. You know, it has this conservative aspect to it. And then it has this aspect to it that is, um, you know, um, free, come, come, come do you, come be who you are, you know, it has that part to it. So that's another part that I'm struggling with. Okay. Because some of the things with that freedom part that they, they offer so many people to why they want to go there. That's the part I don't like. And I'm like the sex tourism. I don't like that. So I got to deal with that within myself because that's a part of the economy and that's a big part of the economy. So either I'm going to accept that that's a part of their economy and move on or I'm going to be just miserable. You know, those th those are those are the things that I, I'm looking at. You know, because <coughs> Excuse me, because <coughs> the reality is that's a major part of their economy, and that probably will never stop. And it's not just Gambia, it's Africa, period. Sex tourism is a big part of the economies, and it's not going to stop. It is not. So either you're going to ignore it, and move on with your life, are you going to be miserable? Or you just shouldn't go there? And that's the reality of the situation. So that was the first apprehension that I had. How are you going to deal with that? You know, last time I saw it a little, and when I did see it, it bothered me. So this time I'm going to be there a long period of time. Um, you know, how am I going to deal with it then? Because when I when I saw it then, I got really upset. Am I going to get really upset every time I see it? Am I going to spend my whole time in Gambia upset over something I have no control over? So that was one of the major things that I had to, you know, talk to myself and, 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 and be real about. You know, be real about. So the second thing I had to, you know talk to myself and be real about was this these this African American repack community, you know, and how we've presented ourselves over there. You know, we've presented ourselves so bad that I don't even want to be associated, you know, with people who present themselves like that. Now, you know, everybody knows I'm not talking about all of them. Everybody knows that because all of them are not doing this. But the ones who are doing this, they know who they are and they know who I'm talking about. And if you're doing what these repacks are doing that I talk about on my show, 
then yeah, I'm talking about you too. So, you know, just to go to a place where I know we've been so, you know, we've acted so ugly and so unshamely, you know, it's just shamelessly. That's the word, shame, that we've acted so shamelessly, you know, and, and to still be on YouTube, you know, just, uh, just embarrassing the whole race. That's the only way I can, I can say it. These people are an embarrassment to the whole, to the whole race. You know, and but these people are presenting themselves as leaders. And this is just so, so sad. It's not only sad, it's embarrassing. So do I want to go to a place where my people have this reputation? Because they do have a reputation. They do have one. And it is not a good one. You know, do I want to go to a place where African Americans have, have represented themselves like that? Look how they've represented themselves over there. Not all of them, never all of them, but it doesn't take all of them to make us all look bad. And we all know that. It does not take all of them to make us all look bad. I'm not saying we're all doing it. I'm saying the actions that a few are doing is making us all look bad. So do I wanna to go to a place where we have those, we have that bad reputation like that. Do I really? Do I really want to settle in a place like that? That's my other apprehension, second apprehension, you know? And what is my third apprehension? Let me see. What would I say my third apprehension is? My third apprehension, I would say, is just really getting to know the Gambia myself like the first time I went I was part of the movement go back to Africa so it was kind of more organized you know it wasn't just me waking up spur of the moment you know doing what I want to do you know um, just waking up and just being free to do whatever it was more scheduled this time is going to be you know just discovering the Gambia so I'm apprehensive about that and I'm excited about that because I really want to connect with the Gambia. You know, last time I, I didn't get a chance to really connect like I wanted to, like I normally do. So I'm excited about that. You know, I want to see, you know, what is really in the Gambia. You know, last time I didn't get to do that, but this time, you know, I'm going to really see for myself on my own terms. And I'm excited about that. I'm apprehensive because, of course, I'm apprehensive. I don't know what to really expect. You know, I've seen people's videos, but their videos is nothing like what I'm going to see and what I'm going to feel when I experience those things. So I'm apprehensive about just the newness, the new adventure I'm about to go on discovering the Gambia. So hey, I didn't get a chance to unpack nothing or pack nothing, so I'm going to do another video about that. But I just wanted to talk to y'all about some of the things why I feel apprehensive about going to the Gambia. So, you know, after just talking to you guys, I feel, you know, excited again. I feel excited now. You know, I feel excited about going. And, you know, I just want you guys to watch the videos. I want you guys to make suggestions like you do. I want you guys to comment like you do, you know, so we can go on this journey discovering the Gambia together. All right. All right, y'all. That's all I have for this video. I don't like to make long videos, but uh, yeah. So stay tuned. I'm going to surprise y'all. One day y'all going to tune in and I'm going to say, hey, guess where I am? And we're going to discover, discover the Gambia together on my terms. Yeah, I'm going to like that on our terms. Okay, you make your suggestions and I'll do it. I'll go places that you guys want me to go and I'll go places I want to go and we'll discover the Gambia together. All right, y'all, we're going to check out Realty Prices. We're going to check out real estate for real. We're going to check out land prices for real. We're going to do all that. 
We're going to go to the market and see food prices for real. Yeah. We're going to go to the grocery stores, see grocery stores prices for real. We're going to check out all of that. So we'll know for ourselves. And then I can tell you guys for yourselves. Well, I can tell you guys from my own experience. All right. Okay. So that's all I have for tonight. I'm going to go pack these things and make another video. And then I'm going to post that later. But all right. I will talk to y'all later. See ya.